Oh, another beautiful morning, and look at them beautiful soybeans are ready to harvest. Who? Who's this? Driving my tractor. Oh, it's Farm Boy. Huh. Wonder, I guess he decided to borrow my tractor. That's convenient. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, that's Farm Boy. Honking at us, they returned our tractor. That's convenient, huh? Alright, so what we have to do today is we have a busy day. So I leased a brand new John Deere harvester with a 45 foot head. The only issue is, is the dealership was out of trailers. So we got to figure out how to get that 45 foot head all the way back here and get it back at the house so we can start harvesting. That is not going to be an easy task. So I did call the local police department, the PD, and asked them if it would be okay to run down the highway. And they said during non-peak times, it would be all right. So, hey, farm boy, what's up? Hey, Stevia, what's ready for another uh, afternoon of work here? Yeah, I see uh, you put some use to my 8R over there. Oh, yeah. It's a very handy tractor there. Yeah, it is. Hey, uh, so I got good news. So me and Clutch that? went together, and we and we talked to the dealership. We leased a brand new harvester. This thing has almost zero hours on it. Dang, is that even like? Are we able to even use that? I don't know. I don't know if that's yeah. a little nice for us. Yeah, I don't know. We we might have to uh, like take a shower before we get in the cab or something like that. Yeah, about to say, yeah. Yeah, you might. we might feel kind of dirty walking in a clean cab. But the only issue is the dealership was out of head trailers, header trailers, transport trailers. So uh, yeah. uh, we might have of some issues trying to get it all the way back here because if you guys don't know where the bird flies, it's about a 10-mile drive all the way over there to the dealership. So, yeah, that's uh, a long drive from our places to there. Yep, uh, I was. If you're all right with it, you want to ride with me down to the dealership, and we can see if we can uh, get this thing back here. Yeah, cause I'm tired of using my little thing. It's only got a 25 foot head. How big a head are you leasing? 45 foot. So that's Dang, gonna be that's, an adventure. Yeah, just 20 more feet than I'm taking at a time. So let's let's do it. Yep. So I already called the police department. They're gonna give us an escort, or at least I hope, and not a ticket. But uh. We're going to see if we can get that header all the way back here. So that's going to be an adventure for today. And then hopefully we can start right into our beans because uh, mine and Farm Boy's beans, well, one of my field and Farm Boy's, all of his beans are ready, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's uh, get an old blue. Well, this is an old blue. This is, uh, this is Ford blue. blue. Yeah. Gotta let the gold plugs start up there. Oh yeah. So we were running little blue over there, running a little fertilizer this morning. Tell you what, these beans around here are like no other beans I've ever seen so before. They take fertilizer. I don't know. I mean, I'm not used to fertilizing beans. There's Spencer TV over there. Looks like he's running two harvest, or he has a big har header on that thing too. Yeah, and then there's my little guy right there. Yeah, that that was uh, farm boys. He has a little guy, but we had a little guy too at first. But uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on to the old crap handles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm say we gotta stay on the road here. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of potholes, and sometimes uh, this truck don't handle the potholes just right. Yeah, the county's not the best at taking care of the roads here this time of year. Yep. Ooh. This bridge is going to definitely be an adventure getting over this thing. Heck yeah, it is. Just thinking about it, we have to kind of do it twice. 
So our bean field over here still uh, isn't browned up yet, so it's still pretty green out there. Completely green, basically. She probably needs a couple more days. Yep. Kind of the beauty out here, though. Yeah, definitely a nice, beautiful scenery drive. Yeah, I used to take the back route. Even though these are considered back roads, but I take the back back roads. Yeah, I know there's a little scenic view, kind of runs across the river in separate yeah. points, I guess. But the only problem is it's a little narrow. Yeah. I'm hoping we don't run into uh, Spencer TV's crew because they run these roads like maniacs. <laughs> yeah, they're like going. <laughs> Yet. Yep, it's they put it off to the side over here for us. If you want to go check it out, I'll go sign some paperwork quick. Oh, yes. Man, so he didn't even wait for the out. truck to stop before he got out of it. Well, I'm a little excited <laughs> here. Alright, right now we uh, basically signed the lease and everything. We're waiting for the police department to show up, the sheriff department to show up. Ooh, here they are, fashionably late like always. Police department never waits for you, you wait for them. Go over here and talk to them. Hey sir, I'm right here, you can stop anytime. Hey sir. You kind of have a loud vehicle, you know that? Uh, I do. I'm a police officer, so I am the law here. Yeah, it looks like you've been pushing that accelerator off so much because you're kind of sunk in that seat. Yeah, I can fly. I guess it's bad guys. Alright, uh, did your, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, Stevio here, and I'm gonna be moving this 45 foot head. Did you get that info? Yeah, I did. I'm uh, Jimmy. I'm a police officer around here, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, how do you want this to happen? Well, I guess until we get to the next big area, I guess, uh, four-way stop, I'll uh, walk it off and wait for you to get up there, and then I'll keep on going from there. All right. All right. So uh, I'll just uh, follow your lead then, sir. Man, that police department car, that thing is loud. Listen to that. All right, we're going to head down the road here. Farm boy, he's going to be following us in the truck. Ooh, watch out for that. Ooh, almost took out the stop sign in like the first block. Don't think they'll be impressed by that. We're heading down the road pretty good now. This thing is making... Whew, wow, this thing is flying along here. I'm a little bit nervous going this fast with this 45-foot head. I know we're only going like 22 mile an hour, but this thing seems like we're freaking flying with this big head on the front. All right, we'll go around this... Uh, Watch out for deer sign. Man, this thing is huge running. Oh, oh, we have another sign coming up here. Hopefully we don't have no one coming down this road. Oh, yeah, there we go. Make a pretty good progress so far. Luckily, there's no one coming down this road, so which is a good thing for us. Gotta make sure we miss this. They put these signs like literally right off the road here. It's almost like they don't want you to drive a 45 foot head on it. I don't know why. It's so convenient. Watch out for this next sign. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. We got two signs coming up here. We 
we got a driveway and we got a fence on the other side Ooh. there we go definitely want to miss out all them signs it seems like I'm sitting actually really high in this seat I need to should have adjusted the seat down we need to put that bag of seed in the header here quick that's really close right there all right now we're headed if only they didn't put road signs on a road we would be there already uh oh we have a contender up there uh, I think we're gonna try to pull off here in this pasture road here so they can get by Maybe the police department will let them by. I don't know. Looks like they're going to give us the right of way. <laughs> Man. Man, I don't know who that team is right there, but they have no... He, he told me that their guys are down the road. So farm boy's following us here, flashing his lights. Even with all this commotion all the lights on the harvester everything like that apparently uh, there's a few people hauling with a truck somehow overloaded can't slow down enough for a harvester but ooh, this is a tight turn hey Y'all farm boy me? yep what's up uh see, see those guys back there they were going a little crazy yeah they definitely were a little nuts. Thank goodness we had the uh, police department to at least slow them down a little bit before we came up on them. Yeah. Ooh, this is tight right here. This is definitely going to be an adventure. All right, now the police department's headed off again. We're falling right behind them. Now, this is a road I'm a little bit worried about because this is very narrow with high line poles on one side fence close by and uh, it's very windy so we have blind spots which when you have somebody flying around the corner can definitely be an issue come around these good thing we have the place so they can I'm a little bit less worried ooh them branches are way out ooh, just notice that kind of late Thank goodness we have the police department, sheriff department up there kind of no allowing us. At least I know that turn is clear by the time I head on it. Hey, Steve, you see me back here in the truck? I just let you know you've still got the uh, bridge to clear up here. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not going to be a... Ooh, these branches. We might have to get the chainsaw out over here. Uh Police department radio up. They said that there's somebody falling right behind us, so I'm gonna pull off here. Especially, I'm pretty sure it's the same crazy crew that almost ran us over. There we go. Wow. Wow. Uh, you guys think I don't drive on the road? All right. Start heading off again. I don't know where Farm Boy went. He must be sleeping back there or something. We're making good time now that there's only Highline poles on one side of the road and nothing really like a fence on the other side, so that's good. The only thing is now we got the bridge. So I'm a little bit worried my head don't go up high enough for this bridge, so might need to double check first. Oh, I think we might clear it. Oh, look at that. We're going to clear it. Ooh, just barely. Taking it slow. We got maybe about eight inches on this side with the ladder. All right. That's the final uh, bridge. Now the only thing I'm really worried about is the railroad tracks. I don't know about that. After that... I think we're in the clear, but we're basically almost to our farm by then, of course. You're like, oh, thank you, Captain Obvious, for that statement. 
point. Yep. Looks like we lost our police escort. He took after a person driving through the middle of the field, so. Oh well. That's why we brought him along. Oh, looks like we get to wait for the train. Now I guess while we're waiting for the train, we'll admire the difference between the STS and the S780. Or 90, sorry. S790 and the STS. So, if you could tell you can't really tell from here but there's quite a bit of a size difference especially in the header so pretty big tractor of course there's uh, about 10 years difference yeah 10 years so of course but this thing is a 9 series harvester and this is a that's a 96 so I think that's a 6 series harvester quite a bit of difference now we get to hopefully get it through this uh, over the railroad tracks. That's the biggest issue we got coming up here. So this is going to be difficult. Police department, they went back. They had a call they had to go take, so it's okay. Uh, we were done with them anyway, so we can go right into harvesting now. All right, we just pulled up here. Looks like a uh, farm boy is just pulling in. So uh, we got the harvester here, with the 45 foot head. Now, uh, what a beautiful truck that is. Man, is that a good looking truck. What's yeah, up, farm boy? Yeah, I took a couple errands. Sorry. Yeah, it's alright. So, uh, I don't know how you guys, how you want to run this. I figure if you both, if we want to both knock out this field, and then we'll head down there and help you harvest your field. Yeah, I'll bring the combine up here. Uh, do you mind if I take one of those DMIs so I can empty out the combine so we have the exact amount for my field and your field? Yep, sounds good. Alright, where's Little Blue at? Little Blue, oh, I parked it in front of the house. I just got done fertilizing spread. Alright, that'll be that DMI trailer. Cool. Alright, I'm going to start in with our big new S90. S790, sorry. Alright, so, uh, Farm Boy, he's going to take Little Blue empty out his harvester. He was started in his field. That way he can come over here and we don't have to worry about transporting or divvying out some of the soybeans because he has soybeans in his field over there. A little bit of soybeans in his harvester. Uh, this is my most... I always enjoy doing the outside round pass first on a field like this. Ooh, looks like we might get some birds in the, uh, the header right there. Hey, uh, farm boy, you got me on CB? I do indeed. So, uh, I was just thinking, we almost have double the head on this harvester here. Yes, we do. And you got a 25 foot? Yeah, we'll be taking what? Whoops, 45 plus 25. Yeah. So, uh, Right now, Farm Boy and me have a little arrangement. We kind of use some of our equipment. Farm Boy, he kind of had a rough start out on his uh, farm, so that, and we're using his his uh, harvester he has, so helps cut through the acres here pretty quick. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I just emptied out and my way back here. Okay. Just one of our fields over here is ready, so we'll empty here. Hopefully we get uh, about three wagon loads out of these. I don't know if we will or not, but we might. Oh, it looks like we have a little uh, 
die-off rate here in this field, so that's a bummer. Germination problem. Yep, I I is think we... A, down by the river, is that supposed to be river bottom? Uh, this field? No, the one down by the river. Yeah, the river bottom's probably our best land, I would say. As long as it doesn't flood. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to have farm boy go on the inside of this tree right here. 45 foot head ain't gonna get that. Alright. Head around back. Yeah. Alright, I'll be out there in a second. You can hit it once we get to that portion. Not a big deal right now. Oh, there's farm boy coming around. Oh, look at his teeny head. It's so cute. We just had our 50% chime right there. I'll let Farm Boy come around and I can finish off that area. What a bad harvester. What, what year is that harvester, Farm Boy? I actually don't know. I just got it from the shop and bought it. They said they didn't even know the year. This is apparently a couple states away. I think it was from Kansas, I think. Oh. They bought They got a good auction deal on it, so. I think it's about 10 years old, I would believe, I think. Yeah, Is somewhere it? around that. It's a series, it's just, it, this is the 50 series, then it goes to 60 series, 70 series, and it goes to yes series. Yep. Would be nice to have a 70 series, though. That would be a good harvester to have. Yeah, but I don't think the swap shop has any of those available. No. We don't have a, any available around this local county right now. We are kind of limited in our uh, selection of equipment. We gotta at least have somebody that can work on equipment close by, so. Especially if you're going to lease the equipment. Yeah, that's for sure. Tell you what, though, this big 45 foot head is freaking making quick work of this field. Yeah, my little baby head. Just a little tiny bit. Looks like this a little bit, right? Yep, well, there's probably a lot around there. Yeah. So this is our only field that's dry enough so far. So we're just going to do this here quickly. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to make it around all the way around. I don't think I am. Just got my 85% chime. Nothing wrong with a good yield in a bean field, that's for sure. We definitely need the money. Uh, you definitely need a turnover of money. If you ever have a bad year on FSN, you're almost bankrupt. Yeah, you gotta pay your loans. You gotta pay it strategically. Yep. Definitely renting this so... The reason why we went with this brand new harvester, it was almost, it was actually cheaper for us to lease this brand new thing. It was for a 9860 STS, fully loaded, to run a 45 foot draper head. Now, that might seem a little strange, but for whatever reason, I guess John Deere wanted to uh, get this out for people to see, so don't bother me. I'd much rather don't have the risk of freaking uh, breakdown as much when you're driving new. Filling up the loader tr right there is in the way to fill up the front grain cart, but we'll just put a load in the back that uh, 8R can handle a little bit of off weight at first, so. Usually you want to fill up the front cart first, just so, otherwise that's a lot of strain on that front cart moving it around.
right, so we are on our second load here, so making fairly good yield off of this. I think it's doing pretty good, don't you? Yep. Great feel, we're getting pretty good production. I know this is, like uh, Farm Boy said, this is some of our best uh, land, like right here. So it's just only, it's kind of odd shape feel. So a lot of the hillsides don't do as well, of course, but that's understandable, the runoff. But other than that, it's a pretty good field. We have, we've only been harvesting maybe 10 minutes or so, so maybe 15, so we're making pretty good time, so. Yeah, but this is a smaller field compared to what we've got to harvest. Yeah. We got a few fields to do tomorrow. We got three fields. Hopefully they'll be ready to go tomorrow. That last one bit there. Yep, and that's the last of our dry beans right there. We'll see how much we fill up both of these wagons or not. So, uh, you taking off, farm boy? Yes, I am taking off. You're gonna meet me down there. Yeah, I'm going to wash off this harvester. I just don't want to transfer some possible disease or bean fungus down to your field. So I'll wash it, and then I'll head down. Yeah, all right. That sounds good. That thing's newer, so it should be putting out a lot less crap than mine is. But deers didn't really put down anything, so I mean. Never know. Back, so. And, too, yeah. it, looks, it always looks better shiny down the road. So. Oh, yeah. That's what I did. Shined it up real quick. It only takes a second, so. So we are already started planting right now. So we're gonna run this planter in and then we're gonna run down and help uh, Farm Boy finish his field quickly. Just wanted to plant this field right after we got done here. But uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you later here on the FSN Multiplayer Tournament. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.